Uh, with RB20 at Andrea, I was asked by Dave DeFranchisi to, to be a part of it. And to be honest with you, uh, I thought it was going to prove that I needed to use the amount of fertiliser using, but it has since disproved that. A yes. good friend of mine uh, informed me about them and he, he had very positive results. He was uh, a self-proclaimed high-end user and he's, uh, he's, he's really changed his tune in, in, in uh, how much any puts on now and I was very interested in, in seeing if I could ad adopt that on my farm. When the SRA researcher Julian first came to set up the trial, what happened? Were you involved in any way? Yes, I was. He, uh, he, he, we had two blocks to choose from and we both discussed the pros and cons of each block uh, and the block we went with uh, he wanted to go with that because uh, it didn't get water from a recycle pit so there was no chance of extra nutrients or nitrogen being in the water so it was a, it was a perfect trial block. Uh, yeah, interact interaction's been really good with Julian. He's been pretty easy to work with and as far as um, the method in farming which, which I've always done, we've just kept everything much the same. Uh, farming technique didn't change, it was just, just the actual rate of nitrogen that was applied. In this project, it, it, that's the unique part about it. Um, after every harvest, the farmer immediately gets their, their trial results given to them and that gives them the confidence to accept the trial results and the confidence to move forward of what, what has happened with their trials on their own property. With, with the trial data that Julian's collecting, when he, when he sends samples or he's doing his sampling procedure, normally we get our, the results through. So if he's taking biomass, uh, biomass samples, uh, he'll send that data through at his, at his three month and six month intervals just to let us know how, how the different uh, nitrogen rates are going. So it's been quite, quite interesting to watch that. Uh, we've also got a soil moisture probe in our site and he sends that through on a monthly basis. It, it, it's not um, there to use as a guide for irrigation, but it gives us an idea on every month how we're going um, with our irrigation. So that, that sort of data is quite valuable. Uh, and then the final yield data, once it's harvested, yeah, we get that quite quickly. It's, yeah, it's probably only a two week turnaround between yeah, when Julian takes all his samples and we get that information back, which is useful for planning our next fertilising of that crop. By doing the trials and getting the results of them, I believe now that I've accomplished everything I can do to grow cane to its full potential at the lowest cost I can. Um, when I first went in the trial, I thought there'd be def definitely a difference between the low, the, the six easy steps and the high rate in, in tons and, and sugar. But yeah, so far, yeah, it gets more interesting as it goes along. It, I can't wait for next year. If we can put on less nitrogen and, and put, more, put a bit more money in our pocket and, and grow the same amount of cane. Have your views changed at all from when you first started in the trial to now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the six easy steps method is, is ample fertiliser for farmers uh, for the amount of nitrogen they need to grow a crop of cane. Um, the, the farmers who believe that they, they, it's not enough nitrogen, they will be getting losses somewhere. So the trick is to identify the losses and, uh, and find out where they're going and, and, and improve from that. What we see from this is uh, by applying high rates of nitrogen is uh, it's just depleting the bank balance. Now use 15 tonne less uh, fertiliser a year because of it. So yeah, there is an uh, absolute saving there. There's no loss of crop, no loss of tonnage, no loss of, of sugar or anything. So yeah, it's a win-win. The environment in trial, it's, it's been a great information source. Um, very easy to get involved with, uh, taking very little time out of normal work day. Um, and as someone once said to me years ago, um, trust in the science.